Good afternoon and welcome to today's meeting of the Human Resources Committee at the Lake Bluff Public Library Board of Trustees. Um, today is Friday, February 10th, and I call this meeting to order at 2.05. Next thing, we'll take a roll call. Trustee Graziano? Here. Trustee Church? Here. Thank you. We do have a quorum. Trustee Shaw may join us later in the meeting. Next, I'm going to um, move to the approval of the minutes from the November 29th, 2022 meeting. I'm going to pull those up here. I'm using a different computer today. Both have had a chance to review, but I'll give you another minute or so. Any edits or suggested changes from the minutes from November 29th? No. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes? Hmm. I move to approve the minutes from the November 29th meeting. Okay, do I have a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. The minutes of November 29th uh, Human Resources Committee meeting have been approved. Thank you. So now we're going to move on to our next agenda item, which is discussion and review of the library director performance evaluation. And so I am going to turn it over to Trustee Graziano. Oh. And Jenny, if you'd like, I can share any of the documents. I have them all ready to go. Um, oh. Sure. Um, well, I thought maybe we could start with the, um, I thought before we move on to the documents for evaluation, I thought maybe we could start with the timeline. Um, and I'm just, uh, just for clarification, I'm guessing that we're, we're going to, as a committee, discuss this and then we present it at an, at another board meeting for approval. Is that right? Okay. Correct. Yep. Great. So, um, I was hoping we could start with a, a timeline. Sure. Um, if that's okay. So yeah. when we were when we were drafting the timeline, so when um, Renee started as our director, we had included within um, the letter that we sent to her for, with her offer letter that we would have a six month review and a year her then her annual evaluation. So um, it doesn't exactly line up with our with our the way that our budget works so i propose that we would have our the six month evaluation so it would be her mid-year evaluation and i think um i said that that would be in june of 2023 and then the yearly evaluation would then fall in april of 2024 which is how um that's how um, eric's uh, evaluation used to work as well and that would line up nicely with the evaluation schedule of the staff too. Oh, great. Um, and then, um, so I said the six month review would be a mid-year check-in. And, and it's really just a tool and a discussion just for us as a board and the staff to be able to check in with Renee to see how, how things are going for her and to give her some feedback. And as well for Renee to give us feedback about formal feedback about how things are going on her end. Um, and then this, um, the mid-year check-in would not be tied to a salary review. That instead would fall at the yearly evaluation. Yes. So, so far really not any changes, substantial ones anyway. Yes, yes. And then um, the annual evaluation, I laid out the steps and I don't know if Renee, if you just wanna bring them up on the screen because um, Jeannie, I know we've done this before but I only did it one time and I don't know that I had any um, like documents to kind of go off of. So I, I just kind of typed this up to make sure that I know. Sorry, and Renee, this is actually in the email that I sent. I would, as you were talking, I was thinking, oh, perhaps it's email. All right, um, give me. Perfect. Give me a minute or two. I'm on not my, this is a work computer, but it. Oh yeah. yeah. 
So Jane, when we did this um, last year, I didn't have like a binder or anything that I was working off of. So I really just like you um, asked you and Kathy to kind of help guide me through the steps. But I thought I would just write it out to make sure there's nothing that I'm missing. Great. Um, so I'm doing this kind of from memory and I don't know if I have all the steps for the annual evaluation. Here we go. So just so that I clarify, you'll have a six month review that won't be tired to salary in June, and then you'll have another mid-year mid review in November that also will not be tied to salary. And then your first <laughs> annual will be in March and April of 24. Is that correct? So I- The salary, is that, do I have I, that correct? I was thinking we'd only do one six month review. And I, I, we could do it in November or we could do it in June, which the actual six month review, like the six months would be June. June, yeah. But if we want to, if, if you guys, I think it's kind of up to um, us as a group where we'd want that to fall. Gotcha. So I, I think, I think it, it, we're, the six month review um, is kind of just for um, all of us to be able to make sure we're on the same page. And so if, Renee. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> So if November works better, if it, it's, I'm not sure. And Renee, maybe you want to have, maybe you have an idea of when, I just wanted to make sure we had it all laid out so that everybody has an idea of when things are due and when things, what our timeline is. Right. Because the annual evaluation, Kathy wants it to fall within the um, our regular time. So it really would be like over a year, because like a year would be January. So this is gonna be, but this, the yearly would actually take place. We would start of course in February, but would finish in April. Right. The, that proposal sounds great to me. In fact, you know, sometimes when you're transitioning new staff with their six month review, you yeah. often have to delay that annual review to line up or even do it a little early or wait. So that makes sense to me. Um, let me go ahead and share. Um, the email that you were referring to, Jenny, with the timeline. This one, correct? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you guys like June or November better? So June would actually be the sixth month because if you started in January. You know, you could decide to do this six month in July or August so that there's a little bit more time on on the front end to get the review process together. I just am referencing what you said, Jenny, that this was kind of your first or you've only done it once. So with it being mid-February, you would want to start this process, I'm guessing, in April. Well, that oh. was that was going to be one of my suggestions is um, we, we're not necessarily uh, committed in, in this particular circumstance to either June or November. So yeah. we could really, um, keeping in mind that we want to make an attempt to start in February 24 and finish in April of 24 with your first annual evaluation that, that will be a part of your salary review. It seems to me that any time in between um, June and November would be um, an appropriate time to do this. I, I'm just thinking of other things that are going on um, during that time. Summer can always be tricky with people traveling and stuff like that, but, uh, and then, you know, September or October, September, back to school and, and all of that gets a little fraught. So those are things to consider, but just throwing that out there. Well, and if 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 we started lining up with April, right? Um, because uh, Kathy had done the six month review with um, an informal six month review with Eric before I started on the committee. Okay. So six months out from April would be May, June, July, August, September, October would be October. So I don't know if you guys want to, yeah, if we wanted to, with, yeah, I mean, any of those dates sound 
fine to me, right? Um, You'll have more to assess if you, the yeah. longer you wait. Um, and I'm open to any timeline. I'm just thinking about um, the new board forming in May. We have new members that will come on. Um, you know, so is it that you would want to capture Kathy and John's feedback before they go? That may decide, that might make you decide to keep it in June. Or if that doesn't matter as much, you know, it, it would be part of the new dynamic of the board um, without Kathy and John. Mm -hmm. and they, could all, they could always share feedback before they go. Like they could email you something or, you know, if you had the form already together, Jenny, like they could fill it out before they go to get their feedback since they That's were here. Also a thought because there's nothing legally that says only, um, only sitting board members can, can wait. No, this, definitely right? not. And I would be very, you know, open to that. Um, it's very logical to me that they would be able to help inform the assessment. Yes, yes, because I think their feedback would be really important. I mean, I like the idea of doing a six month in either August or September. Um, if because I think it gives us you enough time to um, it gives us enough time to kind of uh, get a little bit of experience. Um, but it's still before the start of I mean, August, I think would be ideal, I guess. I don't know. Do you That's, usually meet in August or do you cancel the August board meeting? The reason I ask is because Glencoe would regularly cancel August because of uh, trustees' uh, lack of availability due to vacations. We we have never, the only time we've ever canceled, I, I think one time <laughs> have we canceled. I appreciate that years. commitment. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, because there's always, there's always something to do. Sometimes it's a very quick meeting, but I don't know. Do you remember that, Jenny? It may have been before you came on, but I'd have to look back and see. But I know that I know that we canceled one. Just another consideration, I thought. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. Well, I I mean, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Jeannie, what, well, what Jenny, do you, you know, I, I sorry for jumping in. I was just gonna say you're you're sort of leading the parade on this. So when works out well for you to okay. To start if, this. If I um, then if I if we're not committed to a certain date, then I would I would have the final um, I would have the final review with Renee in September. I, even though it's back to school, I um, I feel like people are traveling and stuff, and I think it would be nice to have the summer experience um, to be able to start setting goals and stuff like that. And it helps us after the um, after the. Um, Met the new members are on board. I think that sounds like a great idea if that works. Well, you're obviously tied to the school schedule these days. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Yes, because I'm thinking we have to, it's going to take a month or two, like in the, um, in the annual evaluation, I gave us like a month and a half to gather the information. So that's always going to be a, a part of like what it's going to take us a little bit to get feedback from everyone. Right. And, um, and I, I'm honestly trying to remember if if we have sought feedback um, at the mid year one um, formally, or or has it just been sort of catchy in the aisle at the jewel or something like that? <laughs> well, and what I'm hoping, Janie, is that we will be able to. Um, I'm hoping that we'll be able to look at the forms that I, some of the form example forms that I found, and kind of um, I was thinking formalize the like end of the year annual review and then also be able to take some of what we're going to do in the annual review and make it part of the six month review um okay. because i would love for um the new six month review to include like also a self-evaluation and i think it would be a nice time to um set goals as well um for this evaluation period because i think normally we would do it on a yearly basis right you would set goals for yourself at the beginning of the year and then um but since this is so new for um our director then i was hoping that we would be able to set goals in, at the six month last year renee how it worked with eric is that he had goals that were all set by the committee the committees, the committees had three or four goals each. And um, I think it's all, it was, um, it was an, a lot of goals to try and get feedback on. And um, 
So I thought that maybe we might be able to change the goal setting process a little bit. Well, and I do think given the time frame, extending it to align me with the the April um, performance review schedule, mm -hmm. it only makes sense. And I'm a very goal setting type of person, but it yeah. only makes sense to start setting goals because we are extending that six month review, quote unquote, six month review. Um, so it would be wonderful for me to have some um, targets and priorities set um, in the work since it will be a whole year and kind of a year and a half almost to that first annual review. Yeah. Okay, so so Jenny, you were thinking of starting together. If you want to um, do this final review um, with Renee in September, you would want to start gathering. I would say in in, early in summer or in in August. Is yeah, I'm th thinking that we would we would start um, gathering information at the beginning of July. Um, so that um, so that because then I need to get all the forms back from people and like format it. And so right. usually that just takes like a week or two. So we would start in July, have it due at like um, the first or second week in August, and then be able to meet with um, Renee, you know, at, at the end of um, at the end of August, beginning of September, as early into September as possible. Okay. Great. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Um, um, yes. So I don't, I'm wondering if in the executive session, we could discuss this statement very briefly, given that we are extending the timeline of the uh -huh. review. Um, and it's not um, a topic for the open meeting at this point, I just, as I just came up with it, I just wanted to ask a follow-up question in the executive session. So I just want to mention that really quick. Oh, okay. Um, I, I definitely support this time frame. I think this would be great. Okay. Uh, and I do want to mention, Janie, that Jenny and I already talked and I encouraged even in the six month review, especially in the six month review, if possible to have staff feedback as well. Um, and so, you know, in whatever capacity they're able to provide feedback, um, I am very open to it and encouraging of it. Great. Um, and, and then, um, so for the staff feedback would in, um, Eric's annual review, we did staff feedback from all of the staff. So would both of these, um, the both the six month review and the yearly review include um, staff feedback from everyone or would you, department heads? I would definitely want at least department heads for the six month. Um, I, I would defer to the committee to decide if all staff, um, you know, the other thing is, is you could have the department heads gather feedback from their teams to share with you all. So they're not just representing their own feedback, but representing their teams. But in a more formalized way, you could keep all staff feedback at the annual review. I, I would be open to anything, but um, okay. definitely encouraging of department heads uh, for the six month. Okay. Okay. Any other items to discuss with regards to the timeline? Oh, yeah. Um, Janie, would you ever take a look at the annual evaluation steps just to make sure that I have all the, the steps that are needed? I'm sorry, I didn't look at this um, um, no. just recently, but um, yeah, can you- uh, I'm gonna try and zoom in. Scroll back up so that I can- Oh, what you see on the screen this was the six month review. Okay. So I scrolled down to show you what um, Jenny had put for the annual evaluation, which oh, starts the annual, annual. Okay. Can you zoom in? This is email. Yep. Whoops. Not too big.
Oh gosh, I'm trying to think. I would have to look back at minutes and see when, because I think, I think we bring the annual review to the board as a whole in eight at the April meeting so that it can be approved before it's brought to Renee. And then that gives, uh, 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 oh gosh, hmm. I think what has happened, maybe what happened last year is that the, um, the salary review was finalized in May, mm -hmm. but since May 1st is the beginning of the fiscal year, the next paycheck after May 1st would reflect whatever retroactively would would have been the, the raise. Um, it seems to me that's what we did last year. Does that ring a bell with you? Mm, I am not sure. But maybe if I go back and look at the notes, I can. Mm. Uh, so maybe that's what I'll do, Jeannie, is I'll look back in the meeting minutes to see. Um, yeah, so I, can do, I can do that too. I'm just trying to remember what the timeline was. It, I, I'm pretty sure that. I know it gets really muddled. I, I, yeah, I, yeah. What exactly what happened in what time frame is. Um, I do. I, I am pretty sure I remember, though, that last year and that may have happened before that um, the the June paycheck then had the increase to May ret um, retroactive included in it. Okay. Uh, so it oh. probably meant that the finance committee approved the salary sometime in May. Okay. I'm curious, I mean, I'm very open to whatever you all would like to decide the way that staff raises a line um, with the fiscal year, this particular year, we've already created a schedule of when the um, performance reviews are due, when okay. the actual write-ups are due for staff, when their recommended raises for their staff are due to me. And then that is all going to happen in March and early April so that I can bring that to the finance committee. And so by the end of April, which is the end of the fiscal year, right. all of the decisions about raises and the performance reviews themselves will be completed so that the, um, the paychecks will be able to start May, you know, any paychecks for the work from May 1st and forward will incorporate that, that new, that new salary. Um, that certainly makes a lot of sense. And I would love to do it that way. I just don't think that we've always managed to get there. I understand. I understand. In, in past years, but I, you know, this is, this would be a good opportunity for us to put the pedal to the metal and get it done. Um, yeah. And there will be more time. There will be more time just given the fact that we're delaying the first six months a little bit correct and so yeah Renee could you send that to us because um, I think it would just have the HR committee just line up with what you're doing with Absolutely. the library and this is relatively new um not new we've always had a schedule the department heads have always known when all of these are these things are due but we realized as we were planning that um the way how much work that needs to happen um, and some of the I'm making some slight changes like for example the staff never knew what their raises were going to be until they got a letter from the director after May 1st right. um, and so then they had the chance to meet with their manager about their review but um, the decision about the raise was held until after the new year. And I'm typically accustomed to the manager sitting down with the staff person going over the review and telling them that their rate, when their raise will take effect and what that raise is going to be. And mm -hmm. so we looked at the spring schedule and we were able to set up those dates already so that I have all the content I need from them to review the evaluations since I have to review all the evaluations. And then um, I had time to look at my numbers to see um, because apparently the department heads didn't get a chance to inform um, the actual percentages of raises very much. And so they have that ability this year. So um, so that's why we wanted to start as early as possible. So I'd be happy to send the committee the schedule. Um, that would be great. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I feel like um, we've always been behind sometimes by 
a significant amount in this process, whether it's for the director or for the staff, you know, um, or both. And so to to make any changes necessary to get us going with the fiscal year makes a great deal of sense to me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Be great. I will send that oh. to committee members. That would be great if you could send that to us because then maybe what I can do is I, I can then update what we have here and we can meet one more time with Bonnie to kind of review this once we have things a little bit more formalized. If that works for you, Janie. Yeah. Um, yeah. I can I can re we can re um configure this with our new dates and stuff like that. And then let's have one more meeting to finalize and approve before we present to the board. Sounds good. That sounds so good. For scheduling the next meeting, I will put together a doodle poll. Um, are we thinking about, here, let me stop sharing. Well, and, and Renee, I, I still wanna, um, the other thing I wanted to review was um, these sample evaluations. And I don't know if you have, um, but sorry, before we finish with the, just to finish this like um, part of the meeting, um, I, the, um, the evaluations that I attached, I don't know if anybody had a chance to like review these to get, yeah, um, I would wanted to update the evaluation from the evaluation that we have used in the past. I have, um, open to what Janie says in terms of if we want to talk about that now, um, or at least start the conversation. I can share one of them, for example. Yeah, because I would love to get an idea if these if these are something that were that we liked. Um, if these and Renee, you have a lot of experience with pricing some of these. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd, I'd be glad just to jump in with um, with feedback if if you'd like. I was please. just saying in terms of a uh, doodle poll. I just wanted to make that note that we're going to schedule the next one to discuss some of this going forward. Uh, what what target of of the spring would you like? Um, end of February, beginning of March for our follow up meeting. Um, I, I would say let's start with the end of February. We'll try to keep this going. Yeah, let's um, try to get it. I'd love to get it um, formalized and finished because I think we still, there's still a few more steps for us, so. All right, thank you. I wrote that down. I'm sorry, sorry that I cut you off. <laughs> no, it's fine. You're, it is all related, so I get it. Um, all right, so. so this, is the, this is the library evaluation that Eric sent me. This is from our library um, and this is for the staff. Um, but then there's also two that I attached that are um, for sample director um, evaluations. And I have those two. Um, do you, would you like feedback about this one first or um, do you wanna just kind of talk about it holistically or what were you thinking for kind of a feedback loop today? Um, I was thinking about holistically because uh, I didn't think that this one had, um, I didn't know how much that one had um, was was going to be a specific enough for the director. But I don't, I because I think that was just the employee one, correct? Um, the one that we did for Eric was like a Google form. And um, so I thought some of these have a, just a little bit more, um, they have a little bit they are a little bit more specific on um, topics. Like I liked that they talked about, you know, um, they broke it down, budget, staff, um, relationships with the board, relationships with the friends groups. And, you know, so I liked how these, some of these worked, but so I, I guess I'm looking for um, which direction are we, do we want to go in as far as creating the evaluation tool? I think, well, first of all, thank you for grabbing and gathering the um, templates from the other libraries. Uh, this is super helpful and they were really um, effective in kind of comparing and contrasting the process of evaluation with what we've used before. Um, you know, there are known entities for library director work. 
And then I see opportunities to set goals within those known areas of work that are specific to Lake Bluff and, you know, the director and the interests and needs of the community and the interests and needs of the board. So yeah. for example, I see, um, you know, like I really enjoyed uh, reviewing the, um, the Hatfield Public Library's director evaluation. Yeah. I also really appreciate it. You know, and this is my, my background in education coming forward, but the idea of having um, a rubric uh, the idea of having even just the statement of purpose and the expectations um, all set out there. Um, and then in terms of the categories, um, in terms of what the director is actually being rated on, um, these are the main areas of library director work. There's budget and then there's, you know, personnel um, and and. I'm trying to find the rest of them. Um, professional awareness, you know, we could decide how that's word worded. I, I'm interested in the idea that there is like collection development at the director level. I think there's an over, there's an overseeing of operations, and we can specify specifically what areas the board would like to see the evaluation focus on. Um, but what I'm typically what I typically see is that there's just a general operations um, category. Um, because we do not have a facilities manager anymore, um, the responsibility for building and grounds and facilities management is now under the director. So I think that could be another area um, of evaluation. Um, and then you know, I, I do think that there's a level of, um, you know, in terms of services in the library, I, I think that that coupled with the goal setting and the prioritization of board um, approved work, uh, I think there's kind of a balance there. There's the, the way that we operationalize our services day to day and serving the community and, and providing customer service. And then there are those things that the board wants to see move forward. Goals from the committee, um, I think that would be, that would fall under that category. Um, work identified by the committee and eventually we'll have a long range plan. You know, that's kind of where I envision this section to be almost like support of the strategic plan, but we don't have a strategic plan yet. So what is the board prioritized as um, need to move forward work? And so um, I don't know if that was muddled or anything, but those are some of the, the categories I see for, for an evaluation. Thank you, Renee. I think your feedback is Oh, you're going out, Jenny, a little bit. We're hard to find. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah, we heard that. Yes. Can you hear me now? Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, because I, I feel like it's hard to sometimes find some of these resources. And I, so um, I'm not sure what the best way would be to, um, like, to, to kind of make sure that we have a tool that is very good at, at um, that would be good for the evaluation. Do we sit down together and go through with these or what would be the best next step? I think that, well, I'll just recommend that, you know, having all the committee members together, having looked at all of your documents and a, and a, a very clear analysis of what Eric walked through. So if there's like a link, you could send me to the Google form or whatever yes. it ended up being. Um, what do we like about the existing form? What do we like about these new ideas and kind of prioritizing it that way? Yes. Um, and then, you know, coming up, once you have kind of the content, you can determine what format makes sense because it's not just board um, feedback, it's staff feedback. How we right. want to determine a percentage of how that's um, impacting. Maybe that's too mathematical or maybe it's just to say that staff provide feedback um uh you know and then determining your rubric um your evaluation what your desired outcomes are and how you want to rate them so um so yeah. i'm wondering i'm wondering if our next meeting um i'm wondering if at our next meeting our next meeting hr meeting should be in person yeah. so that we can i'm thinking that's a good idea jenny 
Yeah, so that we can each come in with, um, and what I could do is um, I could put all of this together in a packet for everyone so that everyone could bring it in because I also really did want some feedback from um, uh, from finance committee as well, as far as the budget part of it. Um, so I'm wondering if I could put together a packet and then um, we could have everyone uh, review the packet and then we could get together in person so we can kind of go through this and look at it. And you know, I, we could review the Google form that also we used for Eric if that would be the best next step, because this is kind of a big project. It is. And, you know, I just appreciate you all being willing to do it. I have many uh, large notepads that we can use as stickies on the wall and markers. <laughs> and as we're talking and discussing, you know, happy to be your, your note taker along the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy to be the note taker, but yes, I would love to, I would love to get um, and I don't, you know, I didn't get a chance, um, Renee, but, and I don't know if you would suggest, I don't, I know, you know, Andrew Kim from the Glencoe Public mm -hmm. Library, and he yeah. is like such a wonderful resource. I don't Want know. Me to reach out to him? Uh, yeah, I don't know if they, the, because he had recommended that there is like an HR support um, through Rails. And yes. I tried, I tried to have Martha set it, um, set it up for me and she did. But then when I tried to go on, it said that like I need to pay for the HR support because he had said a lot of these things can be found on their HR website. Um, a oh, lot of well, Jenny, go through me now. So I'll follow okay. up with Rails. I've already had my training about Rails and that the fact that the directors can access it. I haven't okay. even prioritized sending that information to all of you yet, just with everything else going on. But that is something and you've already signed up. Um, yeah. but yes, there is a whole, well, there are a couple things. There's a curated list of, um, uh, consultants that you can work with, or there's just the HR management management association that we all as rails members have free access to. So, um, and you know, the other thing is, is I could even just do a quick question on rails and say, Hey, directors, you know, um, there's a director uh, listserv. Can you share with me information about your review processes? Oh. Um, so I have I have access to that very readily. Um, so I could do that and prepare and bring that to the next meeting. Any feedback from the other directors in Rails, um, if that would be helpful. I don't want to, sometimes it's like, it's easy to bring too much information, but what I could do is I could um, ask the questions and then summarize what are the things that came up the most in terms of what all these other libraries do in terms of their evaluation, what they have, what their process is, if that would be helpful. That would be really helpful. Renee, I'm wondering if um, uh, not next Friday, but the Friday afterwards, I usually get out of work at um, two o'clock. So okay. I'm wondering if I could come in and meet with you um, mm -hmm. to, to look over some of the information that you are able to find. And then um, we can just, I, I can, you know, if it's me or I could just, just uh, um, gather a few of these items to put together a packet for the committee so the committee could review it. So I guess then our next meeting probably would not be until mid-March because I want to make sure I, I, I'm prepared for our meeting and that I have all the materials to everyone so they can review them and we could have a really good meeting. I'm on desk from two to four on the 17th, but I'm free from four to six if that time frame works okay. Uh, let me see. Um, so this actually wouldn't be the 17th. It would be the 24th. Sorry, because we have my kids okay. have another day off next week. No problem. That's great. Um, so I am free on Friday, the 24th, starting at two. Okay, perfect. So maybe I could come in and meet with you that day to look over the materials mm -hmm. at, so I could make copies and stuff like that. And then um, we would we would hope to meet either the third or the 10th. Great. Um, so are you, what time do you or, want to or, or sorry, the, or, the, or the week of the, the, like the 27th, the end of the week or the sixth. Are you Jane, thinking, does this sound okay to you? Does that sound? Are you asking me? I'm sorry. Yes, Is, does this sound okay to you as far as getting ready to, for the next meeting yeah if I do some some of these things yes yeah um yeah the earlier the earlier in march the better for me okay 2 30 on the 24th 
Oh yeah, um, I get out. Uh, I'm done with work by one forty-five, so I can meet you with you at two o'clock. Oh, okay, perfect. Then I'll just do that. All right, invite sent. Okay, perfect. I'll be sure to have my um, research from Rails gathered and compiled for you by then, Jenny. Well, and if there's anything I can help you with, Renee, I just wasn't able to get in myself. Oh, no, happy to do it. Um, there's a, I don't want to take too much longer, but there's a feature in Rails where it's called Fastbacks, and okay. you set up a question, and all Rails members have access to that question. And so we did this um, a couple of weeks ago. Martha posed a question about COVID-19 health and safety guidelines for staff, and we got maybe about 20 responses from 20 libraries within the first day. Um, you know, it's something that Rails members are, are accustomed to seeing and we love sharing as libraries. So, yeah. um, you know, and I'm, I can also post in the director's, um, listserv, which I, I now have access to in Rails. So okay. I'm happy to do that. And I think okay. it's great for me too, because, um, especially just the awareness of, of the job and the, the ability to reflect about how how the job functions, how, and how it functions uniquely at Lake Bluff. You know, we are not going to be a direct copy paste from Lake, um, from Glencoe. Um, they have a facilities manager, for example. So different, different things that would come up in terms of our needs for the assessment. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Jenny, for proposing that. Anything else with regards to the director performance evaluation? No, sorry. And you know what? I'm going to be, I'm just going to, yes, I'm just going to mute because I have to pick up my kids, but I'm listening as we okay. move on to the next one. Okay. All right. Well, with that, um, what I'd like to do is um, make um space for a motion to adjourn from the open meeting um and begin our uh executive session um under the the statute of the open meetings act to discuss um performance and um salary review for personnel okay i so move do i have a second Um, I hope Jenny. I know, I know Jenny, you muted. Oh, sorry. I, I second. Okay, perfect. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, all opposed? Motion carries. Um, we are adjourning from our public meeting of the HR Committee of the Board of Trustees for the Lake Bluff Public Library at 248.